Howdy, folks. I'm Score at the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to episode Pla uh, Plapto. Fuck. Howdy, folks. I'm Score at the Crimson Renegade. Welcome back to episode Prompto in Final Fantasy 15. Let's go through here and uh, we got a rest stop here. Let's go take this rest stop. First, pick up this item, and we've got a tape here to listen to. Grab this item here and rest. All right, we're all rest up. Got our uh, boosts from eating something or drinking something, whatever we got. It must be close. That's scary sounding. And I know scary. I've been playing scary games lately. Fear Files and Dread, Dead Space. And Dread Space? Dead Space. Report on Unit SAS-0822. Okay. I don't know what it is. I can't, I can't get an idea what this picture is that I'm looking at here. After several years of experimentation, we have finally succeeded in fusing Mammal and Magitech. Although we are still conducting various tests on codename Barbarous, the unit should be functional enough to fend off would-be intruders until development finishes on unit XDA-1002 Immortalis. Alright, so I guess we're going to come across our first boss. It's going to be that thing, not Immortalis. That much we already know about well, about Arden. That is. All right, let's go through this door. Looks like we're going to be entering a boss arena, judging by the size of the map. It's a Yeti mech thing. That's barbarous! Holy crap! Where I should shoot. I don't know where, where its weak point is. I think I found it. I think I hit it in the head. Oh, it's down. Crack shot. Let's blind it. I don't know if it's going to do any good, but hopefully it might blind it. Crap. Any more SMGs around? Yes, there is. There's lots of them. Okay. This is, the best, this is probably the best weapon to use for this. Oh, change. Is 
looks like its face might be its critical point. It's hard to tell. Grab weapon, change to it. Aim and fire. Oh, he's down. Crack shot. Crack shot again. Nice. I've got a lot of HP though. Out of ammo. Let's get another one. Grab. Change. Uh oh. He's on fire. What is he going to do? Oh, Jesus. I did not expect him to do that. Yes, I admit that that, that run at me start with his jump me start with me. Uh, no, sniper rifle not gonna be good here. Walker launcher might be good though. Walker launcher could do a lot of damage. Where is he? As long as he doesn't move too much, kind of like that. Oh, damn it! Ah! Stop running at me like that. Is that, is that rocket launcher re re ready again yet? No, it's not. Alright, back over to the SMG then. Oh, hello. There they are. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hi. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. Pick it up. Stop jumping, pick up the wreck, pick up the gun. Run away! Ah, he's chasing me. Ow. Dragon dive. He's vulnerable. Ah, he's gonna, Oh, crack shot. Oh, it's not ready yet. Star shell. I don't need to run away. <laughs> roll, 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 roll. Ouch. Heal. Um. Crap, I don't have any. I need to. Okay, complete that. Alright. Transfer complete. No psychic obstructions detected. All systems operational. Activating Immortalis. It's outside. Yes, let's go outside to see it. Huh. It's gigantic. So that's the new model. And it's a giant arm. He must be inside that thing. Hop on. Whoa. Gladly. Oh, I gotta. Go. Oh, this will be awesome. Frame rate's dying a little bit here because there's so much happening on screen. Ready but damn. Two? You bet. Long have I waited to spite the world. What the hell? Shall Use the machine gun to take down and we'll tell us the prompto is overtaken, the game will be over. Oh good. LB or uh, LB or lift trigger to zoom in and out. Press LB or T to organize doesn't really matter. I can actually just fire like old fashioned way. Wow, the, the aiming on this thing is terrible. That maniac's taking biological warfare to the next level. I want to be the one to take him down. God, the... Down below. Huh? It's enormous. I don't know where I should be shooting. I'm trying to shoot anywhere I see it. I 
I mean, aiming on this part's kind of bad. Because I'm getting most of the damage dealing by hitting, this, hitting the front claws. <laughs> obviously the core is where I need to be aiming. Like dead center that, you know, yeah, obviously the bullseye. That can't be the entire enemy. It's got to be like just its arm. Yeah, that's not the not the entire machine. It's it really it is huge. I was expecting it just to be a level ninety nine. Really, I just saw its health bar. <laughs> okay, what I did I break something off? It looks like a mechanical version of the uh, hive mind boss from Dead Space. Yeah, I didn't think it was. I guess this is like a this is like a checkpoint here. Every time we get the cutscene, I think. Every time we get a, get a cutscene there, I guess it's like a checkpoint. I gotta hit the one that's lit up, I guess. Oh, I just hit the red ones. Okay, I got it. Thank you, I think. <laughs> I seem to be able to aim a little bit better when I'm not aiming down the scope. It seems that it seems I'm aiming down the scope, it shoots a lot slower. How can this be? I will not Jesus. Oh wow. Destroy my just core. Okay, I'm shooting it. The entire body's red. I'm hitting it. Oh, not so well. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. I see it's going to be powering up, so I gotta try to shoot and I'll let it fire at me. Alright, so far so good. Got down to about half health. Shot. Oh crap, it's really close now. Ooh, seems like the power up sequence is getting shorter and shorter. Got a lot of health gone now. I was thinking vulnerable pretty much anywhere I aim at it. Got it. As it, it's out of health. I'll well, keep shooting now just to make sure. <laughs> Let's see, health partner, I must have got it. Okay, there we go. So Verstail turned himself into a giant metal arm. You all right? Yeah. This is what I wanted. Don't a bit of texture like popping a little late. You did good, kid. Couldn't have done it without you, girl. <laughs> uh, seriously, though. Well, I better catch up with Noct and the guys. He's got a lot on his plate. And I figure he could probably use a hand. Taking back the crystal and all that. And who knows? Maybe I'll take it back before he does. <laughs> don't get ahead of yourself. Honestly, I don't know for sure if they're going to accept me for who I really am. But I'll never know if I don't speak up. So I'm going to tell him. After all, it's my life to live. A boy has become a man. Anyway, Grawley is straight ahead. Aranea. Yeah? Thanks.
Are you just gonna leave her behind, really? You could have asked her out. Oh, you have to step in here, of course you do. Ba -ba -ba -bum, bum, 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 ba -bum. Did he really? Did he really? He just ruined my favorite tune. Uh, and that's it. Okay. Um, uh, this is a short, just like the uh, just like Gladio, it's, it's it's short, so it doesn't surprise me. Um, I'll try to make this uh, a, a short uh, review. It, it was it was fun. It, I really enjoyed it. it. It was a it was a third person shooter, which I didn't expect. I didn't really expect it to be that uh, um, that. Uh, that accurate, a third-person shooter, or what we got here? Are they going to explain how he ended up here? Because they didn't, they didn't explain this. There's a gap in the story from when we left Aranea and here. Oh well. Um, I, again, I didn't expect I didn't expect to actually turn into a shooting game. I really didn't. So I was so I was I keep I kept forgetting that and I kept you know thinking okay, I just pick up the gun and I don't really have to like truly aim. I should lock on the target and pull the trigger, but I actually did have to aim. So I had to like lean, bring back some of my you know shooting uh, uh, knowledge in order to actually uh, anything here. I had to bring my shooting skills into the game, which which I was which again was just a surprise. And uh, but uh, the game the the shooting mechanics were inc were incredibly good. Were very very good. Um, aiming wasn't too hard. Um, I like the damage deal. Again, the only complaint I had, which I which I said in the during while I was playing, was I kind of wish you could reload. And maybe pick up, maybe have like a maximum amount of guns you could pick up, or or magazines, whatever you pick up. You pick up a gun, you pick up three three magazines. When you run out of one, you reload it and you fire another hundred rounds. I just knocked us and rescuing him. No audio, but it's the same scene I'm sure that we saw in the original. Um, otherwise, I thought it was a great, uh, uh, a great DLC. Um, I think I definitely think it was better than Gladiolus's. You just don't like Gladi. Oh, well. I found I okay. Let me say I had more fun with this one because of the, because of the shooting aspect. Whereas basically Gladio was just uh, another, it was basically Noctis from a different perspective. I mean, he had the, he had his own ability, sure. Was, while, while the story was interesting, you know, I, I, I just like this one better. I really like the shooting aspect of this one better. It really made it feel different than the rest of the game altogether. Like I said, it really felt like a different game. We're actually going to have any talking here? We're just going to... For what? For falling right into its trap? And for hurting you like that? I know, right? How could you possibly do such a horrible thing? After everything we've been through? Nah. It's okay. You're not the only one who fell for it. Once this is all over, I say we break down the borders, come together as one nation. Huh? I mean, what does it matter where you're from, anyway? You know, I never thought I'd say this, but you sounded like a real king for a second. Better late than never. 
I'm gonna make this world a better place. You with me? Uh-huh. Ever at your side. Cygnus. There's your teaser for episode Ignis. Just like the other teaser for Prompto at the end of uh, Gladiolus. December. I gotta wait till December. <sighs> Finished in two hours and three minutes. On easy. Of course. <coughs> Alright, I guess I'll finally wrap up my thoughts here. Uh, I had fun, Again, I had fun with the entire DLC. I thought it was great. Uh, this, the areas really looked good. Um, my only complaint right now is just there's a gap now in the story. How did Prompto get from leaving RNA on that snowmobile to getting trapped in Signatus Keep? That's the only thing I'm, I want to know. Did he put him? Did he, did he let himself get captured? Did he? T did he? Uh, uh, there's a, a storyline gap there, and I want to know what it is. And I hope I hope they explain it at some point. And otherwise, this was a, a great DLC. I, I did have fun with it. The shooting aspect was was unique and different. I and I appreciated that. Uh, it really made me really made Prompto feel like an absolutely different character, not just an RPG where you just put hold a button and kind of like what he did with Noctis whenever he had a gun, just hold the button and pull the gun trigger and he'll shoot it in any target that you lock onto. You actually had to aim and fire with Prompto, which I thought was great. Uh, I'm glad Aranea was there to help. She was a great help, and I like that they changed her look too. It didn't keep her that uh, the the mercenary outfit she was in. Um, so. All overall, I thought it's great DLC, a great addition to the set, to the story. Uh, fill in between uh, how he got, how he fell off the train, and how he managed to get a hold of himself when he after he realized he was a part of the Magitech uh, Magitech army. I liked how they said that uh, there was one infant that was taken from the Magitech facility um, by the Lucians, and that uh, that uh, that infant was obviously was Prompto. Um, so I thought that was really cool. I, I really like how they did that. It was a great, great, great story, great addition, great fill into the plot. Again, except for that one part that's missing. How do you get from RNA to captured as a goddess? That's the only thing I want to know. Um, and that, and that, I'm, I, th I enjoyed it. So that's all I got to say. Uh, this has been episode prompto of Final Fantasy 15. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the bo this uh, this little short series of these bonus episodes. Check out if you if you haven't checked it out already. Um, I've already I should by by this point I should already have episode Gladiolus up. So check out uh, that episode, uh, which this was that was the first DLC that came out. Like I said, it was the first episode of this bonus. This was the second DLC that came out. Obviously, Ignis will be the third one. Um, they're supposedly going to be making one for Aranea, I hear, and they're going to be expanding the story. From what I understand, is we're expanding the main story to include more information or b more backstory about Ravis Knox Fleure. Uh, if you remember who Ravis was, he was uh, L Luna Freya's brother, um, the one with the uh, the metal, the big metal arm. Uh, not big metal arm, but the metal arm. Um, they're supposedly including that at some point. I think in the main story. So if I have to go back and play the main story to find it, I'll try to see if I can uh, put it, post that, and post it on the channel for you. Either way. Um, uh, if you haven't checked out Gladiolus, check it out real quick. It's just about as long as this one is. It fills in uh, some storyline gaps, lets you know what happens when he left you at Cape Kayam and you rejoin him again later at Lestalem. So, uh, that'll pretty much do it. This has been Episode Prompto of Final Fantasy XV. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the link at the end of this video for more of my stuff. And thanks so much for watching. I'm Score at the Crimson Renegade. I'll see you later.